Hello and welcome to Drawing with Paolo. Today we're going to draw the Lady of the Lake. Actually, it's a drawing I created on my iPad for a very special website called Design by Humans. And so this is something you'll be able to buy if you really want to. But this is the Lady of the Lake, that character that provides the sword to King Arthur in the famous movie. And in this case, I really wanted to draw it on uh, my iPad and have it look like, or have the character look like it was half submerged inside the t-shirt. These are drawings that will be available on t-shirts, and as you can see, all of the black parts will be out of the t-shirt or floating above the water, and the other elements will be underneath the water or under the t-shirt. You can see the details I'm applying here to the face. This is somewhat of a speed drawing. I've slowed it down so that you're able to see what I'm doing, and now I'm working on the hair and creating the highlights and hair strands as far as this character is concerned. Usually this character, Lady of the Lake, is blonde if you've seen her before. Um, in my case, I've decided to make her like a brunette. She sort of looks like my girlfriend. But in any case, I'm going to add more details here to the hair, trying to create a nice lighting effect, and an effect which appears like the water is sort, uh, sort of on top of the hair and sort of underneath the hair. So the, these elements here that I'm drawing sort of look like as if the hair is floating on top of the water and making a little halo effect at the same time around the character's head. And I've decided that with these um, speed drawing elements that I've used uh, Procreate on, um, I'd actually zoom into each element that I'm drawing so you get a better idea of where I'm at as far as the details are concerned. And when we skip around to another body part, then you'll notice that I'll be drawing another par portion of this uh, body, such as the arm that we'll be doing now in a few seconds here. So we'll use a uh, Caucasian flesh tone on this body. And for the moment, she appears nude, but we're going to dress her up in a metallic armor. And you can get these t-shirts, as I said, on Design by Humans, designedbyhumans.com, and you can search for Drawing with Paolo, as you just saw on the screen. So we're going to add some black shading all around the elements to look like we can see the underwater portions of her body. So it really looks cool as far as when you're going to be wearing the t-shirt, you'll have an idea as though this character is actually sitting on top of your t-shirt, but part of it is actually underneath or going through it. So we'll add some detail to this chrome uh, jewelry she has on her left hand and in our right hand as well, so a little cuff link there. And of course a bulletproof bra. Well, it might be armor proof or, or, or sword proof in this case, but I'm saying bulletproof for today's day and age. And we'll put a little bit of a flesh reflection in there. We'll add some uh, war boots. And these are going down to the water as well. And the idea here is that this drawing needs to work well with multiple t-shirt colors. And so I'll erase some portions around this picture and those erased portions will be transparent. You have to imagine as well that the light gray background right now is also transparent. And okay, we'll draw in the fingers here with a bit of shading and little flesh tones there as well. And then paint in the sword a little bit, the hilt and the, uh, I forget what that's called, the blocker or whatever. You guys can tell me on YouTube. And there you have it. So these little elements here that I'm erasing, the little water waves, if you like, or, or if you like, or the ripples, are going to be transparent. And so the t-shirt color is this red, for example, will pierce through those erased areas. And that's pretty much it. Uh, the next thing I'll do is probably draw a crown. It'd be nice to have a nice crown effect here, where she's uh, holding the King Arthur's crown in his in her hand because. You know, he's passed away, no longer exists, and she's waiting for the next king to come around. And we have to give this little gold color to it. A nice 3D effect here with a light gold and a darker gold on either side. And I'll even erase these little gem stones so that the t-shirt color will represent that. And there you have it, guys. I know it's been a while. I really hope you like these speed drawings. These are the ones that are, you know, I've decided to share my projects. It was my daughter's idea. Why don't you just put them online anyway? And that's what I'm going to end up doing. I hope you like this drawing. I hope it's something that you can try out at home. Uh, if you don't have an iPad, just, hey, go ahead by hand. Here are the shadows. That's that. Paolo Moroni signing off. Thanks for watching every week. I really appreciate it. Stay tuned for another episode of Drawing with Paolo.